This is Info Live TV Headline News. I'm Daniel Ben Nun. President Bush unexpectedly met with Foreign Minister Tsipi Livni and President Shimon Peres on the sidelines of a UN sponsored interfaith conference in New York on Thursday. During the brief, unscheduled, and warm encounter, Foreign Minister Tsipi Livni told President George W. Bush that he had helped advance Israeli Palestinian peace hopes and congratulated him for standing up to terrorism. While the three had not planned to meet, as soon as Bush was done addressing the conference, the head of the UN protocol approached Livni's staff and told them that the president would like to speak with them. In an extraordinary gesture, the U.S. president then walked from the podium directly to the Israeli delegation. The three then talked in a side room, followed by a one-on-one -on -one conversation between President George W. Bush and C.P. Livni. During the meeting, Livni told Bush that he had moved the talks with the Palestinians in the right direction after years of terror. Livni also praised Bush for standing up against terrorism and helping to return moderate Palestinians to the correct path with Israel. Major General Amos Gilad, the head of the Defense Ministry's Diplomatic Security Bureau, said in an interview on Thursday that Israel will not tolerate a nuclear Iran. While the official said that Israel is backing both diplomatic and economic efforts to halt the Iranian nuclear program, he said Israel doubts these measures would work and is keeping all options open. When asked about the complexities of a military action, Gilad replied that 27 years ago, critics said the Iraqi reactor could not be destroyed, yet Israel succeeded. Four rockets fired from northern Gaza landed in Israeli territory on Thursday evening, causing no injury or damage. The first rocket, fired at around 5.30 p.m., landed on the outskirts of Ashkelon, while the second rocket fired two hours later landed in an open area near Sterot. Two more rockets were then fired towards Sterot at around 9 p.m. Meanwhile, Gaza City went dark on Thursday night after officials shut down its only power plant as Israel cut off fuel shipments to the Gaza Strip in response to renewed rocket attacks. U.S. President-elect Barack Obama's Chief of Staff, Rahm Emanuel, apologized to Arab Americans on Thursday after his father made disparaging remarks against Arabs in an interview last week. In response to the question of whether or not Emmanuel will be a pro-Israel influence in the White House, his father reportedly replied, quote-unquote, what is he, an Arab? He is not going to clean the floors of the White House. Emmanuel called the president of the Arab American Anti-Discrimination Committee to apologize on his family's behalf. Israel's emotional aid hotline has reported a 30 percent increase in calls in recent months, a rise that is attributed to the global financial crisis. Professionals at the hotline said on Thursday that the amount of calls was expected to swell if the crisis continued, as many people have not yet come to grips with the financial situation. Yet on a brighter note, the global economic distress is prompting some positive developments as Israel's absorption ministry expects 15,000 Israelis living abroad to return home by the end of 2009. Thank you for watching InfoLive TV, Israel's only internet television channel that broadcasts in four languages from Jerusalem to the world.